Hey, what's up, my fun guy? It's Kai here, and today I'm doing a little redstone tutorial kind of thing. I've got my big chunker area. So, this is basic, call, basic all redstone. I'm using a texture pack if you wondered why redstone looks a bit different. It's just um, faithful. Powered redstone, as you can see. Redstone will actually last, I believe it is 14 blocks. And the current will eventually stop. Here, this is unpowered redstone, as you can see. Let's put it to, let's say, a door. It won't power. Let's say we'll put the door there. It'll power. Next thing about redstone. Redstone... This is a redstone torch. It will power anything on the same level as the redstone torch. Like, I actually have my reach. I believe it's increased. Turns out not. One sec. Oh, that's so harsh. Right, that's better. And one place placing this down, as you can see, it's all powered, and it will also power the one on top but what if we want it to do something like this remove that see it won't power them but place that there will power them now there's a couple of weird factors about redstone redstone signets actually turn off when redstone's connected to the block underneath it which can be used in a very helpful thing technique called Inverts. Now, inverting a redstone signal can be somewhat like this. Say there is a door. Okay, so let's use the door example again. Obviously, this isn't going to be the prettiest thing ever, but um, I'll have to do. Ooh. So, this door is closed, and so let me just. Toggle, right? Hopefully, this works. I need to look at this. As you can see, it's going to power and then it's going to unpower. I need to replace this. Might, and then, as you can see, you can toggle the door. But it ain't just used for that. Say you might not want to use it as an inverter, it can also be used in really tight spaces for vertical redstone. Complete vertical redstone. Basically, we're running up a wall technically, but just Less com it's less compact, I suppose, than certain redstone mods like Red Power that we might have a look at. But that's vertical redstone at its finest. Vanilla vertical redstone. You could also get one of these. I'm not actually sure what these are called, but um, how you use them is pretty simple. It's basically a toggle latch. And it only works once, this toggle latch. So, th this is how you'd get a button to always stay on. And if you've ever played a custom map, then you'll know what I'm on about. Say there's four buttons that you need to press to open the door. Well, this would be how you do it. You'd press that, and then... Ooh, what have I done? Oh, yeah. I'm running it to the wrong thing. You run it to this here, and then... Ooh, still running it to the wrong thing. You should run it over here, that's it, so, let me just run this up here, hopefully this is long enough, and as you can see it'll turn that on, and then you can just break the circuit to fix it, like, place this one over here first, and then this one, and that'll reset the circuit, so how could this be used in a map, you may say, so, in this case I'm just going to use two levers, but, you'd probably use buttons in this scenario what you want is to set up a free and then a T like that so it goes to each by the way also redstone can't connect running like that it has to connect running like that so flip this one that one goes off flip that Ooh. flip this one that one goes off and that on oh, is off as well. One second. So that one's powered. That one's powered, which means this output is off. 
because of this redstone signal here. But with this one unpowered, still on, with this one unpowered, then there's a redstone signal, usually to open a door. But in this case, you could make some a bit more complicated. So you see the thing over here that we have. Let's recreate this here. You got your free button. You're going to work this down. And you're going to work it round. This isn't the compact design, by the way. There is much more compact design versions. But, yeah, I'm just using an easy one to show you. And then you'd run this across here into one that's here. It's got a resident torch here that's off into this one here. And now I'm running that into right one, I think. Or am I running into wrong one? I'm running into right, and that's fine. You can see. And then, so you're thinking, okay, that makes sense. But you'd run this up to one of these. Wait, a redstone piece here to turn this off. And then what you'd also do is have this one, which would be connected to. Right, that makes more sense. Second. And as you can see, this one's being powered, so this one's off. Ooh. Oh, is this bit here? Oh, yeah, because it... Yeah. Okay. And then you just basically build the exact same thing that you built a second ago. With that on, running around. Ooh. And that on. Alright. So... So I'm just itching my neck if you wondered. And then this running around here, connecting to this, running from this one, which we have to do a bit more complicated. Rest. We have to just make it a bit bigger because I built it kind of weird. But yeah, if I'm correct, then one here. Like so. Then what you do is you press this button. Oh, what have I wired it to? Oh, okay. Uh, you'd place it here, should I say, and then you'd right click it, turn it off. Oh, that burnt out for some reason. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's burning out. Now it's on. Oh, yeah, that's it. I didn't see that piece of redstone there. Because you can actually burn out redstone torches, which can bug them out a bit sometimes. When that's on, as you can see, that one's turned off. I ain't done the same on this one, I've actually done this one. Okay. And then that would turn off, and then this would lead out to a door. Same thing, you could also use, instead of using... One second. Yep, yeah, okay, and... You need to toggle that up. Right. Instead of using this per se, you could also use one of these. And this can actually sh like confuse some people because they think you have to stand on it and there's no way of doing it, but actually you can just walk on them. Also, you could do this with wooden and drop an item on it, but that would be more suited to this version here. As I can show you... This could also be good for court maps because you might both have to stand on one. So I'm just going to chuck down a button. As you can see, then door would open for like, put some repeaters in. Simple. Simple redstone, not too hard redstone. Some, probably some of the most easiest redstone to know. So you could, so I'm not going to rebuild it, um, I'm just going to use this one over here. As an example, let me just break this one, break that, put a lever there, no, put a button there, which can, could just be like that, but we're piece of redstone connecting like that. 
like this. And then obviously it'd lead into this, but then you could connect it to some vertical redstone. I don't know how many you would like to go up and then to a piece of one more vertical and a piece of normal into a vertical. And then I just need to get a door real quick into an iron door. Oh, drop that. Just put that up real quick. Into, say, a iron door. As you can see, bit of a simple resonant. And then you could lead. Ooh, that can sometimes bug out with iron doors, is a block update next to it. Can sometimes twitch it out a bit. If I'm correct, that should actually happen though. And then we're just going to place these here. Right, and as you can see, no way past into this little walkway. No way in. But completing a simple task by like pushing this button. Would off the redstone signal which should have closed it oh that's all right yeah I've been doom I've been doom you want to place it one lower so you've got to double the redstone signal like that and then the door would be um let me lower it one more it's just how you wire it. You could actually not even use this wide piece. This is just an one actually an easier solution than some of us that they are. As you can see, it should be open now, right? But let me just shut it real quick for demonstration purposes. Ooh. Yeah, also stuff like that would also cut out the signal. Right, press U. As you can see, not open. And press U. You can see, now it's open. Walk through. And, you know, jump into a pit of doom or something. I don't know. It's up to you, but it's just some basic redstone. Uh, nothing too difficult. This some of the stuff. Um, this is an inverter. This is an inverter. This is basically an inverter slash vertical redstone. This is a one-time button press turn off system that would be like you're activating a lever but with a button. This is the same but with pressure plates, which I can just wooden ones. Or stone, doesn't matter. But uh, this is a, um, what do they call them? An RS no latch. I'm not so good with the names of redstone devices, but uh, the functions are basic. This is just a simple redstone device that lets you. I've, it's a toggle latch basically. This is a toggle latch, and I can't remember what they're called. But yeah, that's a toggle latch, and then obviously this is toggle latch into a combination like lock kind of thing into an output of second. So into an output of vertical redstone to an invent uh, to a like basically just a little pathway to like an inverter vertical redstone combo to open up a door and this could be in a massive puzzle you could also have some piston shooting and uh, actually in the next episode I'll be showing you about some piston stuff so um peace